Why, hello there, and welcome to a quick look at with Iron Brutal from Flamingo Gaming. And today we're looking at Guild Wars 2, which is a pretty awesome game. It's an MMORPG. I guess you all know what that means. You know, World of Warcraft, anything along those lines. All of it, but so this game, you have to, you would have to purchase the game, but then after that, there is no subscription fee. So, you know, you could say it's free to play, but you do have to pay about, you know, it's about thirty pounds, or I don't know, probably like fifty dollars, sixty dollars to buy the game, and then you're in for, for life. You're in the club, so you know, it's a pretty good deal, I think, considering the quality of game. I think it's a really nice looking game. It plays really well. It's smooth servers are always up and smooth. So anyway, we're going to create a new character, I'm going to quickly show you the character creation before we get into it. So you've got the five different races, Char, they're sort of a wolfman, very aggressive, human, uh, you know, your typical sort of, uh, yeah, sort of very honourable, etc, etc, you know, you are one, so you know what they are. Um, Norn is basically a human again, just like bigger, beefier, sort of like the Skyrim, sort of Nordic, Viking sort of look going on. Then we have Azura. Which are uh, like a little alien race. They're similar to like the gnomes and wow, I suppose, with them being so small and they jump pretty high and they're quite fun to play. I've got a ranger as well. And then you've got the Silvari, which is a sort of elf like character, but they actually literally are sort of made out of grass and tree and stuff. So anyway, I think we're going to make a char because I don't have a char yet and you know, they're, they're just really pretty cool, so we'll put just for next. So you can obviously get. Male and female of every race, which is always good. Oh no, we don't want female. No offense, ladies, but you know, we'll go with a man. The child, female you know, looks kind of weird. Right, classes, well, professions, as the third race too likes to call them. Elementalist, which is your typical mage sort of character. Warrior, very just basic. I have a sword and I'm gonna hack the shit out of you. Melee weapons, stuff like that. Guardian, you know, you've got your shield and. They have some magical defensive abilities, similar to a paladin. Engineer is based around using weaponry, long range weaponry, short range weaponry, bombs, turrets. A bit, they're very steampunky. And I, I think that's what we're going to go with today because I've not tried one yet, so we're just going to have to go with that. Ranger is a typical bow and arrow, sort of, as it says in the name, you know, sort of a one with animals and beasts and stuff like that. Uh, Necromancer is your sort of evil mage, sort of summons creepy dead creatures, summons the dead to fight for them, channels blood energy, then the summons souls, etc, etc. Very similar to a warlock in World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft. Thief, again, referencing WoW, sorry, but pretty much a rogue. You know, you've got your stealth abilities, daggers tend to be what people go for. You know, quite good for PvP, etc, etc, and crowd control. And your Mesmer is sort of a, on its own in a Guild Wars 2 sort of thing, it doesn't really, I couldn't really claim it to be like anything in WoW, it's similar to a mage but you sort of make these illusions of yourselves and it's very good for crowd control and keeping yourself safe and whatnot. and uh, I have actually played it for a short while and it was a lot of fun, so pretty cool, but today I think we'll go with the engineer and we'll just quickly go through this, there is a lot of like different choices you can make and I'm just going to sort of pick whatever I think and if you don't like it sosmo so alright you can literally change like all the sizes like we can go and change the node bridge as you can see the nose width and make that quite wide actually that's kind of cool ears ear thickness ear length Right, anyway, that'll do. We'll change the armor dies. I am brew it out. Right, that'll do. Orange and blue. Next. Then you have to make this little backstory, which, you know, it, it's an, you know, if you like your storylines and stuff, it's kind of an interesting thing, but I don't think it has anything to do with the game, so. Um, if I'm wrong, then please just like slag me off mercilessly in the comments and tell me why it has something to do with the game. I know this stage you can pick 
goggles, monocle, or have a backpack. I'm going to go with the monocle because it's fucking awesome. Then you want to pick whether you're sort of good, you know, dignity, ferocious. We'll go with ferocious. Why not? Uh, proud to be uh, iron. Iron sort of makes sense. It's a, it's a cog. I'm an engineer, you know. Maverick. Dinky. Reva. Reva fights hard and plays hard. Never gets her down. Yeah, we'll go with Maverick because it's very badass. Um, they tell me a soldier that sired me is a loyal, sorceress, or honorless gladiator. We'll go with Sorceress Shaman, that's always kind of cool. Right, and we'll pop the name in, and we're all. Right. And let's get stuck in. So, if any of you weren't interested in character creation, I'm sorry. I am a child. Try to keep it minimal. Alright, we'll skip this. Alright, okay, so here we are in the game. As you can see, the char kind of like runs on all fours. And you run forward, and you can do a little roll, double tap your directions. Not enough energy. Right, so we have explosive shot. Ah, oh, nice little pistol. Bang, fuck off. Fires a shot that explodes on impact, bleeding nearby foes. And then we have Elixir H to heal yourself and randomly gain protection, regeneration, or swiftness. So, okay, I don't know what we got there. I'm not quite sure. Right, anyway, let's, let's get going. Over here, soldier. Shoot I've got there. new orders for you. Right, so we'll get stuck in for the Legion. A lot of these classes, the beginnings of all these races, are all different. Different areas as, as there are in a lot of games. And it's basically like a little tutorial prologue area. And uh, it basically just runs you through and there's usually a little boss at the end. Hey. So anyway, we'll try and get some kills in, maybe get our number two move. So basically in this game, your one, two, three, four, five moves depend on what weapon you're using. So the minute I've got pistol, if I was to equip a rifle or dual pistols or anything like that, that would totally change. The moves would totally change. Oh, so we've got two now. A poison dart volley. Fire it, po volley of poison darts. It's pretty good. So that's a pretty good move when you actually hit people. Okay, now we've got static shot. Just discharges a lightning shot that bounces between multiple foes, blinding and confusing them. That's pretty cool. Right, so we'll get into this. This guy needs some help. We'll skip this little thing just for the benefit of doing this. Get to the crypt gate. Right, so we'll, we'll get a move on here. I think we got swift. There we go. So as you can see, I've only got three moves. I think that's because I've only got one weapon. I also have like a two-handed weapon, maybe five. And then if I equipped an offhand to this, that would that would create the other two. If you follow me right, there. So, right, we're down in the crypt now. Best fighter. You go on. I'll be right behind you. That kicks some ass there. Right, let's get down to this cave, see what's going on. Right. Kick some more ass. The first spell seems to just be like an auto fire. If I just press one, it'll just, it'll just keep shooting the shit out of whatever I was aiming at. 
Ghost Waves defeated. I think that must be a bonus mission. Alright, so we've got a bit of a boss over here. Okay, he's like gone into his crypt. Right, we'll, we'll watch this little bit soon, it's probably too quick. Right, okay, so it looks like we've got to fight this big fuck off statue man. There's really nice graphics in this game, and I think it uh, needs to be appreciated. So, here we go. We're in. Ow. Pretty easy, you know, it's the very beginning of the game, so Report back to the boss at the beginning of most races looks a lot harder to defeat than it actually is. So, anyway, we'll call that a day for this video. So, if you want to see any more, if you want to see any more uh, later in the game gameplay or anything like that, let me know and I'll try and do some for you. So, anyway, this has been Guild Wars 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Enjoy gaming. See you later, guys.